Hi guys, Alex here, and today we're going to be reacting to Foodie Beauty's video, which is actually called Life and Health Updates, and I am super excited. It seems that the dust has settled on her latest controversy. Are you guys over it? I mean, everybody got their money back, right? So it's time for us to move on. But as you know, the internet never forgets. Chantal just wishes she could wipe the slate clean week after week, but it continues to linger in our unconscious. Has our sympathy ran out for Chantal? Well, you guys know I have an endless supply of sympathy, so I'm here to give just a little bit of that to Chantal as she talks about her life and health updates for us. <laughs> I'm trying to go into this with an open heart and an open mind. Get out the broom and dustpan and just sweep it right under the rug or not. We shall see. We shall see. I've got a little bit of mess, a little bit of drama. So let's just get right into it, shall we? All right, here we go. Ah! Foodie beauties. Hello, foodie beauties. I wonder if she will decide to change her name since she is going on a health journey. I presume um, she doesn't really have to. I think that she is known as Foodie Beauty. She can do like pretty much whatever she wants. You don't have to change your channel name, Chantal. Just putting that out there. Ooh. <laughs> Warning, this video is kind of gross. Well, hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Oh, my goodness. I have missed you guys How so bad. How are you? How are you? It feels so weird, but so good doing a recorded video, honestly. It really makes me want to get back into the swing of things. So here's the deal. Yes, Today we're gonna do think up those video ideas because I don't think mukbangs are in your future. At least not the Burger King ones. Let's only hope, right? An update on my life and my health and things like that. Just I didn't know that she had a beauty mark right here. Chit chat um with the cats of course because they're reason right now um i apologize for not putting this out yesterday i was supposed to do that after i had an appointment a uh, phone appointment with my family doctor but um i'm not feeling too good i haven't been feeling too great which i'll get into in a moment a lot of you probably yes, already know what's going we saw on. your community tab posts where you said you were rushed to the er well i think she drove herself it's been hard to get around lately, at least here, but today it's in the 50s and all that snow is melting and I couldn't be happier. Since I've posted on my community posts, BB June. and I'm going to be talking about what now going forward, how I'm going to address these health issues. And I'm just going to warn you right now, flat out, in the most nicest way possible. because I, I can't say that the uh, cats on the counter is going to help her in any way. It might cause some bacteria to get inside. I'm trying to be nicer and not a total bitch all the time. I don't need your comments all right. uh, saying, here we go again. I don't need illness here shaming, cycle shaming. I don't need your, your, your ne negative comments. What I is illness shaming and what is cycle shaming? I mean, we know what they are, right? But the cycle is just something that's used for her and Amber, right? It's not really something that is universally used. I don't think it's a type of shaming, right? Not everything is shaming. I don't care about them. They're not wanted here. So please go elsewhere. Thank you. All okay, right. We are here not to shame. We're just here to watch and listen. So, all right. Where do I even begin? This is totally non scripted, just kind of like all of my videos are, but whatever. <laughs> all right. So, uh, my health is what Girl. mostly I'm going to be talking about here. Uh, we, I, we know they're unscripted. Um, let's not revisit the uh, Delphi one. <laughs> My health is crap. I'm sure you're all aware of that. And whew, sorry about that. Pause in video. I might look a little sweaty because I'm a busy body today. <laughs> so anyway. All right. Um, yes. Just move that boogie body. Get my place back in <laughs> order after being ill and not feeling well for a while. You know how it goes. It kind of falls into a bit of a mess, but a little bit by bit. I'm doing what I can. Pete, I come on. Pick up the slack. Clean up that kitchen boy organized kitchen because this time around on this you. health journey i need to be organized and have uh things on hand and handy so that i can just quickly whip up a healthy meal or a healthy snack yes exactly anyway. you need to have it around the house that's what you need to have we recently saw amber's video where she had a lot of junk food in the house and it just it that's what happened you know that's why she ended up eating like that so uh so about five or five days ago or so, 
I noticed a little painful lump developing on my FUPA, which a lot of you don't know what a FUPA is. So let's go to Dr. Armchair for a lesson, shall we? I refuse to say that word on my channel. <laughs> All right, Dr. Armchair, come through. Human anatomy. Oh, hi there. Dr. Hey. Armchair here. So the FUPA, fatty upper pubic area, I thought the also P standard for something else. That wouldn't be YouTube appropriate. As the bone's pubis is a rounded fatty tissue lump All right. above. We will uh, use la bon's pubis. <laughs> there you go. Yes, girl. That is the way that you should clap back to the haters or whatever you want to say not with the rants just do it in an intelligent yet funny way hats off to you but i'm not wearing one i hope you feel a lot more educated so i had this little lump developing and it grew quickly over the subsequent days to a very large mass with a purple reddish around it and I thought it's probably another abscess or something like that, like I had back here and I had to get it lanced. So I decided because it could be infected. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We heard about that last year where she got the lump. What'd she say? Lanced? Oh, the story that she told, it sounded so painful. It was very large that I better go to the emergency because if you don't get these things looked after, the infection inside yeah. can enter your bloodstream enter your, and cause septic shock. That's how shock. people die. So a blood infection, and that can be deadly. So you don't want Not that to funny, happen. Not funny, but yeah. So true. Uh, I did go to the ER. Very true. My reasoning was early, early Sunday morning at like 6 in the morning, I called a taxi. Shouldn't be too many people there. I get there. Sure enough, there was maybe. Oh, uh, okay. She got a taxi. Hmm. One or two people sitting in the waiting room. One poor guy was getting sick every five so seconds. So I'm going to assume she couldn't even, she didn't even really feel comfortable driving. I thought, I'm not going to be sitting beside him. Uh, so, but the thing was, for my assigned zone, it still said like an eight hour wait. So I thought, oh my goodness, but I have to do this, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, luckily for me, they called me back. Eight hour wait. Ooh. Maybe I only had to wait in the waiting room, maybe two hours. They called me back oh, into okay. a room and I had like pretty comfortable gurney kind of bed. I had my own room, which was good. And uh, so yeah, at that point, I I was laying on the bed for a while and I, I realized something feels wet. Not I had funny. some pajama pants on. I had taken a nice shower before going because if they're going to be examining, you know, bits and pieces of your body, you want to make sure it's as pleasant as possible. So I did my part. All right. But okay. regardless, the thing on my... I don't think they really care. They've seen it all, girl. They've seen Fupa it all. started leaking. So You're not leaking an anomaly. This bloody, gross fluid that smelled bad. Uh, I'm probably going to put a warning, but... Oh my gosh. So I thought, oh great. So the pressure... Now that did relieve some of the pain because it was so painful. They gave me some Toradol, which is like a, an NSAID, a um, anti-inflammatory, non-narcotic non mm -hmm. um, medication. I can't believe she's putting this on the internet for the world to see. I just, it couldn't be me. A test, a blood tests, and I was a bit dehydrated, so they gave me some fluids. They started me on IV antibiotics, and I did feel a little bit better after the fluids. I had a bad headache from being dehydrated, and that went away. Uh, was the pain trying to find a hole? I, I have to guide people to my veins. Yeah, she needed get to get on those antibiotics right away. That's what it sounds like. Tattoo right about there. That's a good good one. <laughs> so, oh, uh, and I remember vein. being in the ER a long time ago from uh, severe pain. Some are good. Some nurses are really good at putting it in. Some of them, you have to question if they're trying to hurt you. And the uh, blood lab technician said, "Tell you should get a tattoo right there. Tell everybody there's a good vein there because other than that, you're not going to find anything That's on That's the last way. thing she needs is another tattoo. So anyways, so that was that. Um, by the time I had a CT scan done, I had all kinds of tests done. Just, you know, they want to make sure. So I, I was seen by, they had to page the gynecology, but they, just, they you know, decided that since. Girl, you're lucky you don't have a $20,000 bill. You know, if you lived in America, that might be the case. You never know. It didn't involve the vagina or vulva. They called internal medicine really, really hot, <laughs> really gorgeous. Intern. Did he um, want you? <laughs> a resident student. Uh, Girl, of course you would be there. still being thirsty, laid up in a hospital bed, thirsty for the nurse or doctor, I mean. They're very knowledgeable. Uh, came in and looked at it. 
I get it. It's uh, since being just be, my time being in the hospital, it became super inflamed. So like my fupa, let's say, was this size before? It was this size now. Like it felt like a bowling. It was ball a between bowling my ball. Like, I was gonna TML. say basketball. I but it was like red and inflamed. Like almost a see, bowling like, ball imagine, would like, be like hard and like just heavy. Cellulitis, but. The CT scan didn't show any pockets of pus that needed to be surgically removed. They, they, they thought maybe they had to do surgery on me. So I wasn't allowed to have anything by mouth other than ice chips. <laughs> so, um, and at that point I had gone so long without food, I was beyond hungry. Um, oh no. So they determined that it was like edema. So, and a soft tissue infection. So probably similar to cellulitis, but that's not what they I feel like that would be the last thing on my mind. I mean, I've had it, what is it? An abscess or something like a lump before that needed to be drained and it just it stinks so bad it stinks tissue infection and um this thing like is the just continuing is to like... drain a bit on its own um so there must be some kind of abscess there i'm not sure but he felt that because of my vitals um my blood pressure actually really um improved for the time that i was there it was like all right get it Chantal. Like her blood pressure is good now i'm not sure if that's good <laughs> something because <laughs> Probably not. Uh, it's usually like 140 the top number so that was pretty good um, oh no just wait a minute Jeez. you're on the way down Chantal so because my vitals were all right on and the I way seemed down. okay I didn't feel sick or I wasn't throwing up or anything they said I didn't have a fever so they thought I could go home with she really needs to get like her bowels in check right people shouldn't be doing a number two that many times a day that usually indicates a problem but we know this oral antibiotics so they put me on like amoxicillin and sent me on my way for five days I'm on those on those pills now it is still pretty painful it's still pretty inflamed um I think it's a little less I could be wrong I'm not sure um I don't really want to look at it too much because it makes me cringe. Like, ugh, it just, I just, is know. that going to, is the amoxicillin um, or whatever antibiotic she is taking, is that going to mess with her gut health and make that even worse? <sighs> so I'm going to wait and see after my antibiotics, if it hasn't gone away, start uh, eating your Activia now, girl. I need to go back. I'll probably have to have some kind of stronger treatment and all that. So I talked to my doctor yesterday. It's like they give you something to fix a problem that actually causes a problem, and then they have to give you something to fix that problem, and then it's like a snowball. And she's very concerned about uh, my diabetes. My blood sugar was 14. Notice how she is, like, so hesitant to just say the word. It's finally time to just let go of that, Chantal. You have to accept that you have the problem which is very high and that is uh, the first step to making changes her blood sugar is really high well we knew this already she already had a blood sugar tester she wants to start me on ozempic which is supposed to help with appetite with okay. weight loss and with blood sugar regulation she was talking about that in her previous live stream i mean it sounds like a really good idea i think it's almost a last resort before you would need to take insulin so I have to go in to see her um, to talk about that because she has to show me how to do the needle, how to do the injection. So I'm going to be seeing her about getting my diabetes under control. Yeah, but it's still um, an injection. Ooh, I can't imagine. You have to do what you have to do, Chantal. You can still reverse this. And there's also my digestive issues. The CT scan showed, again, a lot of inflammation in the bowel. It's area. obvious what's causing it, right? Yeah, and I mean, this is nothing surprising to me considering how many times I go to the bathroom a day. Um, diarrhea a day it's just you know uncomfortable and triggered by a lot of things I eat and my you know my liver issues I have an enlarged liver so I have extreme fatty liver so there's a lot of healing extreme. that has to go on in my body inflammation wise so I'm trying to stick to anti-inflammatory foods I'm trying to stick to foods that are low in okay. fat, saturated fat I'm trying to stay away from dairy um, the fruit I'm trying juices to eat foods that are really high in fiber the ER doctor uh, they don't usually talk too much about nutrition I find ER doctors but um, this one did take the time to talk. To I don't know. About, what are your guys' uh, thoughts on the fruit juices? I know that Chantal has said it's okay. Like if you have natural sugar, some people say it's not okay. A high fiber diet will help uh, rebuild my gut microbiome, especially after another strong dose of antibiotics. These antibiotics are really messing with me. I don't know. I feel weird. Like 
Oh, that's what I was thinking. Got rot, but not just that. I woke up in the middle of the night and like, I suppose like when I would close my eyes, I would hallucinate all these like weird colors, like kaleidoscope images. And it was odd. I don't know if it's from that, but it was weird. So like weird cartoon characters, like, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, I got to go home. I was sounds like shrooms. I had gone into the ER (laughs) at 6 a.m. and I left at like 8:30 p.m. and I was just like, when the nurse came in to unhook my IV, I was elated. I was so happy to go home and see my cats. And this one, when I got home, was flipping out. Weren't you, BBJ? Weren't you, BBJ? Yes. So that's that. And I got a very healthy grocery order. I would like to know what she decided to eat to break her fast. And. I'm just organizing my kitchen. I've been doing that. Where did her mind go? These are things that we need to know, Chantal. Where did your mind go when you got home? I've made some really good progress in my fridge. And that's pretty much it. So moving forward, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be focusing on clean eating. So anything I do in this foodie beauty kitchen is going to be cooked. I don't want to order out anymore. I really don't. I really want to so see So is what- she really going to do the intuitive eating? Because I've seen some other people talk about intuitive eating. And it's more about eating a lot of healthy things, a lot of whole foods, and then maybe sometimes you'll treat yourself, right? But Chantal is really so far gone that we shouldn't even really think about that, the treating ourselves, at least not right now. But what do I know? I'm just a doctor armchair over here. What life is going to be like for me on the Doctor game chair. <laughs> side of things because if i keep going with all of these health issues i won't be here for much longer and that's just the grim reality and i'm sick of going to the er i'm sick to death of the yes you've got to be sick of it it's so boring right i mean not only that i mean it's boring yes but they're there to take care of you it's not a place you really want to go especially not right now when Resources are becoming thin, so will she come back with a mukbang? Will she try to do a healthy mukbang for people, and how will they be receptive to that? Because I know that she's probably going to run out of ideas pretty soon. She said so many times that she doesn't like being a health vlogger, or she doesn't like doing the weight loss vlogs. She'd much rather just eat on camera. So will she continue to do healthy mukbangs, or how is that going to go? Is she going to do sit down videos what is next for foodie i just i can't like whenever i used to think it's just a cliche and i used to think yeah right when people would say there's um nothing tastes as good as healthy feels oh goodness i believe that now because i don't want to feel like isn't that uh, okay um people say trigger warning nothing tastes as good as skinny feels i know that's like a something (laughs) I shouldn't even say that. Um, it just that just reminded me of that, and yeah, I don't know. Nothing tastes as good as healthy feels. Okay, let's replace it with that. Like feeling like crap is the worst. Um, I know it's gonna be hard, and I know there's gonna be times when I'm so moody and I just want to flip out and smash something because I have a feeling that junk food withdrawals are not pleasant. I ha- I did experience- maybe she should go to one of those places. I think there are places that you can take out your frustration. Maybe she should go to a gun range or maybe she should go to one of those places that you can just destroy things. I've heard of them before. I don't know if they're still around or if that was a successful business, but they would put like a old CRT TV, for example, in a room and give you a baseball bat and goggles. And businessmen would go there after work to relieve their frustration and just hit that CRT TV, smash it everywhere or whatever. I mean, that's just an example of some old junk that it doesn't really matter if it gets destroyed, but it would probably be fun to destroy. Chantal should go to one of those and film it because we would love to see her destroy a CRT TV with a baseball bat. (laughs) It's the beginning of that (laughs) almost every time in order pizza. So I, I know what that's like. No pizza. What I'm trying to do to combat that is it it does help that my stomach doesn't feel good right now. So I'm not really craving to gorge on things that will upset it, make it sick. So it's funny to say, but I'm kind of fortunate that my stomach's upset. 
what I'm doing is just eating anytime I get really hungry just eating really healthy things I have on hand I made that brown rice pasta with some tomatoes like a homemade tomato sauce garlic tomato sauce and some nutritional yeast for the b12 because I'm low on b12 I hope um, that that is the case that um she doesn't feel like eating the junky food but I don't really believe it I mean it's up here right her wanting to eat that junk food is up here it's not down here in her stomach I've been eating bananas. Those are a lifesaver. They're sweet and they're um, full of potassium. They're, they fill you up. Um, I have all kinds of things I can eat. So Okay, you guys, according to Dr. Google, bananas are okay for people with diabetes, but not if you are following a low-carb diet. It also says that fruit juices should be avoided, although she does have the pressed juice, which I don't think has any added sugar so that would be something that she should probably look into love the dr google embrace the dr google okay well, i'm gonna be making a split pea soup today as well and, that sounds uh, good so i'm you know going forward i'm gonna be on it's not a weight loss journey it's not another cleanse it's not uh anything like that it's yeah i don't think the cleanse would be a good idea at all another attempt at a lifestyle change and it has to be drastic i don't have time to fool around and slowly eliminate things that are bad okay this me. is a lifestyle oh. change do not use the word weight loss journey that is triggering okay i'm fine with that we have things that are it bad should be in moderation because my body just rejects it my body is it should be a lifestyle rejected. change a weight loss journey is only short term right until you get to your goal weight a lifestyle change is a change of your lifestyle <laughs> did you did you guys watch freely the banana girl back in the day she used to always say that veganism is not a diet it is a lifestyle you guys lifestyle Arr! rejecting it my body's telling me things and i need to She's this time. and as i was eating my healthy my healthy food i was like you like that body you like that <laughs> so i have to really um do that you have and to get over that like hump workouts so i can try to push through more. chantal yes do the dance workouts uh, longer and more entertaining and they're fun so i ordered a uh, bunch of fun workout wear from you could have done those on your only fans page i don't understand why she didn't just stick through it she should have just said it said at the beginning that she wasn't going to do anything um explicit it would just be like a little risque which i think that her workout video was a little risque like let's be real here and i can't wait to do a haul and do some dance videos for you guys not going to be sexual or anything like that they're just going to be exercise if you interpret it interpret that way well uh, there's not much i can do about that and the sloppy joe mukbang could have been well, we're not doing those things but in the past that could have been behind a paywall as well because that was too much for me at least so anyways <laughs> going on moving forward um i have someone shoveling my driveway for me right now i paid them 30 bucks it's just a small parking space but the snow is a lot to shovel for pete's and i we don't have good backs so come on pete's man up when i do do time work, i did my whole driveway multiple times so theme mukbangs or things like that I'm gonna try to find healthier alternatives Gut friendly alternative recipes i'm sure if i get creative enough that i can still accomplish that so anyways i i just wanted to put this out there for you guys i know a lot of you are waiting for some updates i really don't want to go back into the er so i'm really going to try to be as diligent as i can no you to don't follow through use that as a motivator you don't want to be laid up in that hospital bed it's no fun by day hunger pang by hunger pang honestly and I'm not sure ahead. about um, how Canadian healthcare works exactly, so I'm not sure what what kind of bill she would have, if any, for that. I know that she's talked about paying for medications and things like that. So I will be cooking a lot today, preparing things like cutting up vegetables, putting them in baggies just to have it ready for cooking and stuff. So, yes. All right, my friends. Ooh, ah. I guess that's it for now, and. Um, I appreciate you being patient with me. I know I would like to put out more content. Um, if I'm really not feeling good, if you don't see a video from me or whatever, it's because I'm just really not feeling good. Sometimes I have- Yeah, girl, take like the time off if you need to take it off. Don't feel the need to have to push out a mukbang for views. It's not worth it.
sometimes I have really low moments of, of energy and just mental not worth it. You know, Your so. health should be the most important thing right now. You can be more active on YouTube when you get there. I'll do what I can and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Trisha Paytas is eating dominoes. All right, you guys, what did you think of today's video from Foodie Beauty? Well, we do have some updates from her community tab that I thought I would share with you guys at the end of this video. She does say that just last night she was about to go to the ER again. Her INR was low and the shortness of breath is bad. Hey guys, just an update. I realize I rushed to divulge personal details like this, but I am like an open book that is stuck open with some crusty stuff. Someone spilled on it. LOL. I am okay. No blood clots. Thanks for the well wishes. Having people care is a nice feeling. See you soon for another video. So what does Foodie Beauty have planned? Uh, thankfully, she does not have any clotting so that is good what does she have planned for her next video where will she go next it is a brand new day and i'm ready to see what's on the table let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i will of course catch you guys in the the next one bye guys